There's something about these little yellow fun-loving goggle-wearing characters that I can't get enough of. The Minions Rise of Gru is all about Gru as a kid growing up dreaming to be a super villain and unfortunately he blames the Minions for holding him back and accomplishing this goal until he gets kidnapped and it's up to the Minions to rescue him. Now the great thing about the Minions, at least in my opinion, it doesn't matter what the plot is, it doesn't matter how detailed or structured the movie is. It's something about that slapstick physical humor amongst all the minions that just make the movie great and enjoyable pretty much for all ages. I was very surprised of the amount of adults and couples that were in the theater watching this movie without children. Now, I took my kids to see it and they absolutely loved the movie. They thought it was great. There were so many kids there just laughing and everybody's having a good time in the theater. And I think that speaks volumes for how great this franchise is. When adults go in there without children and they're laughing and enjoying the movie, it's it's a really great time. And this is a movie that you don't have to worry about how structured the movie is. There's a lot of scenes in this movie that don't make a lot of sense and it doesn't really fit with the storyline, but it's just there and it's funny. It doesn't matter because it's funny. And the, again, the physical humor is great when they're hitting each other with things or tripping into stuff or their facial expressions. The characters themselves carry this movie. Now, Gru is a funny character as well. I like him and I think Steve Carell did a great job playing him. But to me, the minions are the star of the show. Now, even though Gru is kind of pushing them away in this film, saying they're, they're holding him back, they try so hard to prove themselves to him. But screw up all at the same time but sometimes their screw ups end up being the reason for their success which is actually the funny part because they don't mean to do what they did but it works out for them anyway now the super villains in this movie were the vicious six and this is the group that Gru is trying to get into and there's something about this group of villains that i there was a disconnect there and i don't know why but it just didn't feel like they fit in the movie. And what they did just doesn't make sense. It just, this is one of those deals where the, the plot didn't make sense for me. It didn't work for me. But it didn't matter because it was still funny. And that's the great thing about this franchise, I think, is because it can be funny and make you laugh and enjoy the movie without making any sense. And there was a lot of that in this movie. There's a lot of disconnect, I think, for me that... Uh, details just didn't line up and I wondered why this scene ran into this scene and why this character said or did this and you know it just again don't know why but it works if you just want an enjoyable fun movie that you don't have to worry about nitpicking little details this is the movie you want to watch but sometimes that's what you need you need a movie that doesn't make sense. You need a movie to laugh at, to have fun, to release the stress and troubles of the real world that you're going through every day. And this is the perfect movie for it. And I think that's why the Minions franchise or Despicable Me franchise, however you want to word it, is such a success, even with adults. Because you love to laugh. And these are fun, loving characters that you laugh with, that make you laugh. And they take away your troubles and your everyday worries. So if you're looking for that and you just need to sit down and blow off some steam and laugh with yourself or with the rest of your family, this is definitely the movie for you. So this is something I'm most likely going to watch a couple more times over with my kids and enjoy it for what it is. If you've seen it, I want to know what your comments are down below. Are you a big Minions fan? And if you've made it this far in the video, I greatly appreciate it if you drop a like on it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm Kevin and I'll see you at the concession stands.